Hi, it's Kat from i3, and today I want to talk about Facebook Lives. So starting to film Facebook Lives can be a daunting process, but we're here to offer you some of our best advice when it comes to recording them. First of all, test your setup. Have a plan for how you want to record your video, with what lighting and where. Then test the setup before starting your live. This way you can work out any potential issues and prevent them from happening while you're talking to your viewers. Secondly, prepare but don't plan everything. Having some key talking points jotted down and knowing what you want to say is a good idea because it gives you basic information that you'll need to translate your message into your video. However, lives are made for user engagement, so don't have everything prepared. Leave some room for answers to audience questions, to react to their comments, and feel free to include other subjects when you see fit. Next, send a notification and promote it. In your live video options, make sure you have the option selected to notify your followers when you start a live video. You can also send out posts with information about your upcoming lives to help garner yourself an audience and let your potential viewers know what to expect. Continue to mention your topic in order to include new audience members just joining. Not everyone will join your live within the first few seconds, and those that join in the middle should be able to get the gist of what you're saying within a few seconds of joining. Try to, try to keep mentioning your topic frequently in a way that will keep everyone in the loop. Lastly, spread and reuse your recorded live. After your live is finished, save and share the video across platforms. Make a dedicated post for it, feel free to pin it, and share the video across all channels you deem fit. No matter what your Facebook Live ideas are, consider using these helps to help you prepare. For the help on this and more to do with marketing, contact i3.